A tragic update to a story that we've been following out of Huntington Beach this morning. Not only was an 18 year old student killed in a car crash, but his brother as well. NBC4's Michelle Weiss live at Edison High School with more for us. Michelle. Good morning, Michael. The younger brother, Jeremy Page, who was just 17 years old, did not make it. He was pulled off life support, and that was confirmed early this morning. Hearts here in Huntington Beach are so heavy, as you can imagine. The procession for Officer Vela passed right in front of Edison High School, where two upstanding students, described by their peers, two football players, are now gone. Their family numb, but this community, I can tell you, is coming together for them. Now, the uh, grief counselors have been here at Edison High School to help the students and staff heavily impacted by the loss of Joshua and Jeremy Page. The two were riding near the intersection of Newland Street and Yorktown Avenue yesterday morning in their older model Ford F-250 when they collided somehow with the Chevrolet Silverado truck belonging to the city of Huntington Beach. At this point, investigators do not think drugs or alcohol play any factor in this collision. But last night, hundreds came out and supported the family. One of the speakers, Josh's girlfriend, Rachel Arnold, she shared these pictures with us. And Josh had just given her a promise ring, too. She said Josh had dreams of enlisting in the Navy and becoming an underwater welder. But she says it was his little brother, Jeremy, who Josh looked up to because of his kind and caring ways this entire community really is at a loss for words seeing on social media especially it's impacted a lot of people regardless if you knew them or not i think it's really just a whole like energy that we've created here at the school no that's a tragedy i mean and it's all right here the accident that killed both brothers is still under investigation, and since the city of a Huntington Beach vehicle was involved in the collision, the Irvine Police Department will be taking the lead on the investigation. We can tell you that city employee that was involved as well reportedly was not physically hurt. A GoFundMe has been started by friends and family as well to help the Page family lay those two brothers to rest. That's the latest in Huntington Beach. Michelle Vias, NBC4 News. Michael, back to you. All right.